Hey guys, welcome back to Dreamframer Photography channel. Some of you with a sharp eye might notice something different or unusual about my face today or the whole video in general. And I wanted to tell you right away what it is, but I think it's gonna be more interesting if you try and guess it. So if you know what's different, leave a comment down there in the comment section. If you're not sure, go back, watch any of my previous videos, compare it to this one and try to figure out. If none of you gives the right answer, I'm gonna tell you in the next video anyway. And now let's move to our today's subject. As I promised in the last video, I'm gonna show you how to make a light box to take pictures of objects isolated on a white background. To do this, you will need one empty box, scissors, any kind of plastic card, white paper, glue, and any kind of adhesive tape. First thing you want to do is measure and cut the box. Put the paper inside a box like this and cut the box approximately at this line. What I'm trying to show you is how to create the cheapest possible light box with the material that we all have at home. You can make a better version of this if you cut the holes in the top and the sides of the box, cover those holes with thin white paper and use strong lights to shine the light through the paper inside the box. But I promise that this project will be something that you can do without any investment, so we're not gonna buy any lights. Now use the tape to tape together the corners of the box. Some of you will ask me now, why didn't I cut the box exactly at the edge and just wrap the paper around the edge? The answer is because the ideal box for this would be a little bit deeper than this one, as we need a big white surface inside the box for the light to bounce around. As I mentioned before, we are not gonna buy any additional lighting equipment for this. So we need as much light as possible to bounce inside the box and the only light source would be our flash. Apply the glue near the edges of the paper and spread it evenly with a plastic card. I just want to mention that since we have just one light source, which is our camera flash, we will have some shadows on the back of the box, but nothing that can't be easily removed in Photoshop. Keep doing this until you cover the whole inside of the box with the white paper. When you are done, take the object you want to take a picture of, put it in the box, Move back and take a picture of it, of course using your camera flash. Now open your image in Photoshop, actually this is camera raw because the image is taken in raw format. Click auto white balance and click auto over here to adjust the levels, contrast and everything else. Adjust the highlights and shadows to correct the picture manually and click open image. The image will be now imported uh, into Photoshop and the first thing you want to do is drag down the background to a new layer icon to create a background copy. Now click one more time on the new layer icon to create a new empty layer, find your paint bucket tool and use white paint to fill this layer with white color by clicking on it. Now drag this layer below the background copy layer Click on a rectangle marquee tool, make a selection around the image, go to image, crop and get rid of the rest of the image. We don't need all this white surface around this mushroom. Now go to select and click deselect to deselect the whole image, find your lasso tool and create a rough quick selection around the object. 
The selection doesn't really have to be precise. Its purpose is just to get rid of the rest of the image outside of the selection. Now, when you go down here and click on the layer mask, that will hide everything from the top layer that was outside of our selection. In those parts of the image, you will see only our white layer. Those parts of the mask are black. Let me zoom a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Click on the layer instead of a mask and find a dodge tool. In my case, it's under these three dots, but in your case, it might be right there in the toolbox. Go up there and choose highlights for the range and 100% for exposure. And while your layer is selected, go and start dodging around the object to make this shadow lighter. The goal is to make it completely white. While you're dodging, keep adjusting the size of the brush as needed. And to do this quickly, you're going to use left and right bracket keys on your keyboard. I'm going to speed up the process so we don't lose too much time in this tutorial doing this. There you go, we are almost done. There is just one little detail I want to fix and that's this harsh shadow over here under the umbrella of the mushroom. To make it lighter, I'm going to use clone stamp tool. I'm going to click it. For the mode, I'm going to choose lighten and adjust the opacity to 20, 20 something percent. Then I'm going to make the brush smaller and press Alt on the PC or option on the Mac. Click over here with the mouse to take the sample and brush over this shadow to make it lighter. I'm going to do a couple of passes until I'm happy with the result. And that's how we isolated this wooden mushroom on the white background. So guys, this is how I started taking pictures of objects isolated in a white background back in 2008 when I was starting with stock photography. I hope you liked this video. If you did, press that like button, leave a comment, subscribe if you still haven't because these things motivate me to make more videos like this. In the next video, we're gonna go together through the process of creating one stock photo. See you soon, bye.